Now we're starting lesson three, uh, drawing an elevation based on our lesson two, drawing a floor plan. Uh, for the floor plan, you'll notice too I've added reference bubbles. The reference bubbles are inside the room. Please don't put them outside. It would not make sense to, for your elevations. You need the elevation bubbles, reference bubbles, located on the inside of your drawing. And this is indicating what elevation reference bubble you're referring to. For instance, this is elevation A, which would be drawn as one square. There's no windows, walls, nothing on there. There's B, and B elevation is what I will be drawing above. Um, ele reference bubble C and D. So this would be four elevations I would draw. And again, elevations are looking straight at, on the wall. So not a bird's eye view, but looking as though you're inside the room, rotating yourself around the room, looking at each wall. So for, I'm going to show you what elevation B is about and how to draw that elevation. Um, when you need to draw the other elevations, you have to untape your drawing and rotate it around so that way you can draw the elevation based on your floor plan. So I'm all set up here to draw for elevation B, as you can tell. Um, so I'm going to show you with my scale, again, at a half an inch scale, since we want to keep the scale the same as the floor plan. The first thing is to indicate your, your size of your, or the height of your wall. Uh, most are around 8 feet high as standard, so I, again with my drawing was 8 feet, I'm going to start from my zero mark, and I'm going to go to 8 feet, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, draw a line straight down. So that will match up with my wall, at my floor plan also. I'm going to draw the thickness of that wall, which is I have at 6 inches. Again, that will range depending on your specific room you're drawing, and I'm drawing the thickness of my wall. I will then draw my my floor um, line straight across, and again that will match up with my floor plan. Again using my 45 triangle, I bring my line straight up from my floor plan and draw in the thickness of my walls at 6 inches. And I'll draw my ceiling height, which I mentioned. I've had a dot there at 8 feet high, and I'll draw that straight across. So I've driven, driven, or sorry, I've drawn in my box, my thickness of the walls. My next thing to do would be placing my window and my patio door within that elevation. So my patio door would be approximately, well, usually the same height as approximately my window is, so four plus your three, so about seven, uh, seven feet high. And that's about approximate for a patio door or also exterior door, or standard height. So I'm now going to draw my patio door height at seven feet. And my thickness there of my door is six feet. So again, if I drew my line up matching up with my floor plan, it would be equal the same at six feet and I knew I measured out seven feet across, so I'll match that up and put in my, where my approximately where my handle would be, about three feet, so I'll just draw the line indicating my handle for my slider. And usually through the center I'll show about three feet over is the center of my patio door, and I just show the frame of that up here. So I've now driven, or drawn in my patio door and I want to draw in my window. So I want to again match up to my floor plan and put that approximately looks like one foot six from the opening of my patio door to my window opening. Yes. So I will go over one foot six foot six inches over, add a little dot there, and another dot here. Now the next thing you'll want to know, obviously off your sketches, is how high your window is off your, off your floor. Here it's four feet, then I have a three foot window, and I have one foot on the top as a bulkhead ab above. 
So keep in mind when you're doing your measurements for your room, keep in mind your heights of specific windows and doors and so on. Window width is three feet as I have the same here. Again, you can match it up with your flare plan. Add the line straight up. And then bring in your T-square up. You know, you can use your scale to go draw this way too. Now again, the last thing to do, similar to the floor plan, would be your trim around your patio doors and your windows and also your baseboard trim. Very easy thing to forget about is your baseboard trim and those sort of items um, because they're drawn in last. So please try to remember. Again, they could be custom. They may not always be three inches like mine are. Uh, they could be custom at five, six inches, whatever that may be. So I usually just draw a little dot to indicate my measurement from three inches there. So then I know now how to draw my lines. Where to draw my lines. Again, and I'll match up to here. Across. And again, I'll do the same thing with my window where I draw three inches. Three inches. Three inches. Three inches. Three inches. And now all I have to do is draw and match up. Again, use my 45. Usually with windows too at the end, you'll draw in little streaks, little 45 degree little lines through to show that it's like shiny, um, showing that there's light kind of trance coming through the glass. It just gives you that effect or illusion of glass. So I'll usually do that also. Um, the last thing that we'll go through, then the next lesson would be dimensioning, and uh, that will be talked about later on.